So I have forgot my uh, camera at home, but today I actually sold the ruckus. So you know what that means. Your boy's on his way right now, legit in the car right now, to go pick up some wheels for the M3. I'm picking up some Workmeisters S1. Yeah, S1, the three piece ones. They're all black, but most likely I'm just gonna rebuild them anyway to, uh, you know, have that polished look. But um, um, yeah, I forgot my vlog camera at home. I was like rushing out of the house because I did some hoodie deliveries today, and as I was like leaving, um, I forgot to grab the camera. So um, I'm just gonna vlog off the phone for now, uh, and then when I get back home, um, we're gonna put the wheels on. Then we're gonna head over to. Um, a car meet tonight. It should be a really good one. I've seen a lot of people posting it. Um, it's actually one of my homies. So it should be a good turnout. Uh, the my homie that has the yellow type R is his meet. It's called not another not another ricer. So it should be a good turnout. I, like I said, I've seen a lot of people reposting it. Today is like 72 degrees outside. So you know a lot of guys are trying to get their whips out. Um, I was gonna go to the Lost Goonies one yesterday, but it was so far. It was like down the shore. And sometimes when you get there, they shut it down. And for me to drive like an hour and some change for a meet to get shut down, I j it just wasn't worth it for me. So um, I just said, you know what, I'll just do this meet today. But right now, like I said, we're on our way to go get these wheels. I'm excited to see how these wheels are going to look on my car. I think the specs would be perfect. He said that it came off of his E92 also. So I think I should be straight. All right, so we acquired the wheels. You got the guys out here with the chucheros. Getting it. <laughs> but uh, we got the wheels, bros. Now, it's time to get home and whip it. We heading out to the uh, car meet. Pretty deep outside too. I had a dilemma with the uh, wheels. So right now I'm only running the rear wheels right now. Which kind of sucks, but it's all right. I'll have it all together tomorrow. And like always, the meat got shut down as soon as we got here. Which fucking sucks, but whatever, bro. I'm sick, bro. We drove all the way up here for nothing. What? I didn't do the front though. That's what I was taking so long with. The me got shut down, so we ended up at White Castle. So we took over the whole entire lot. Probably gonna get kicked out of here too. Pretty sure. Right hand drive S2000. That's crazy. On Regus? Ooh. This one is fucking fire. FD2. Look at this. This is fire. Is this like an official type R or not? I'm not sure. But the Recaros, all that shit in here is pretty fire. I miss mine sometimes. The, the blue one, that is.
one that comes to your head when you see this car. All right, so I just finished fitting up the wheels and putting on the wheels. So yesterday I had a dilemma with it, right? So the reason why I went to the car meet yesterday was just the rears on only, and I went there with the uh, avant-garde in the front because when I finished putting everything together, right, the wheel started rubbing the caliper. And obviously, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that my garage doesn't have great lighting. So I wasn't able to see how close it was. It looked like it was gonna be able to clear, but I guess once I tightened it all the way down, um, it got closer to the caliper and it would not move. So I had to take the wheels back off again and put the other wheels back on. Um, so today, I took the 15 mil spacer that I had in the rear and I put it in the front to see if it'll clear it. And so far, it looks like it's good. Um, I ordered a 20 mil spacer though because the 20 mil will make it sit perfect and I wanna put the 10 that was already in, originally in the front in the rear because when the 15 millimeter meter spacer that was on the rear, it poked out a little bit too much. So when I aired out, it kind of sat on the tire and then it kind of like snugged over a little bit to get to that fitment and I don't like that. So the 15, I think I have it like perfect. I mean the 10 millimeter that I had in the front that I'm gonna put in the rear should have it sitting perfect. So the spacer should be here tomorrow, which is Saturday. And then um, there's a Cars and Coffee on Sunday. So I think everything should be good. Um, I'm gonna try to take the car out right now, see if it'll move, make sure nothing uh, hits or rubs or whatever, and then we should be good. I mean, when I drove last night with the rears on, with the 15 mil spacer, I didn't have any rubbing or any issues, but I just know the way I want my the fitment to be when I air it down. Um, I know I need it to be just a little bit more, um, you know, just a little bit more in. So these are a 275-30 tire, and they're hand cooks. These shits are like brand new. That's why I kind of jumped on it. I kind of wish it wasn't all black, but that's these, the, the good thing about these, they're three piece, so I'm able to like, um, you know, take them apart, do new lips, whatever, whatever. So I'll get it correct. You know, it's just gonna take some time to do. Damn, shit is fire. Y'all see these works, man. I finally got them to fit. So what I'm thinking about doing, right, just so that way like I could get you guys a little bit more, you know, on speed and like, kind of know when to come back to the channel i'm gonna try to put myself on a like a video schedule um like dropping a video at this time on these certain days etc etc so that way like you guys know like yo today's uh what's today tuesday all right phil no i know phil drops a video at five o'clock every tuesday you know what i mean so that way like i could get you guys engagement up more but um it's kind of dope like i'm happy that my car is coming into the way that i want it to be you guys know I love Workmeisters. I had Workmeisters on the S2000. Um, now I got it for the M3. Um, but I'm not gonna go too, too crazy on the car with like the wheels and stuff like that because like I really, really, really wanna get another car that I can like really turn into a project and like have you guys be a part of and like, you know what I mean? Like give ideas. You know, if you guys got parts that you wanna send me and stuff like that, like I think that'll be really, really dope for the channel. Um, the M3 is not gonna, I'm gonna, I want the M3 to be, you know, you know, obviously like a, a braking car where it's like, I'm breaking into a different uh, barrier of the automotive space, but I also want to introduce like different cars to you guys as I go with the M3. But um, the S2000 was definitely like a barrier breaker for the Honda community, but I wanted to join the European community and like really grow that base there too. So, you know, I'm gonna have best of both worlds. I know I will. Y'all see this wheels, yo, the wheels look so good. Like I said, if they were just a little bit more polished or like a color to them, I think it would look so much fire and it would pop out way more. But for now, this will do. This will definitely do. Oh, make sure you guys go follow your boy, man. Phil M3. Getting some crazy ass photos, but I'm gonna let you guys get to see like a little sneak preview of how it would look. Oof. If you guys want to see those photos, make sure you guys go check out my Instagram. We just got some fire-ass pics. Oh, you see the shadow ones? Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. It's supposed to snow today, but uh, I'm not sure. It was supposed to snow by 1 o'clock. It's already 5 o'clock, which is pretty fire, right, guys? Because now it doesn't get dark early anymore. So by like 7 o'clock, it's starting to get dark now. But today is pretty gloomy out, so that's why it looks uh, like this, because it was supposed to snow, but I just been seeing like a little bit of flurries, not really like no 
you know, crazy snow or anything like that. So I just pulled up to my boy uh, Delon's garage real quick. He's over here doing a quick detail. So for all your detail needs, I mean, you can hit him up. I'll put all his links and stuff in the description, but it's called Just Mac Detail. Um, I'll put the at name here. You guys can hit him up if you're in the Union area or even like, I don't know, what is this? Union County, SS County, Passaic County, whatever. If you're close, you want to get a detail, hit them up. Um, but this is the car that they're actually selling. This one too, but I kind of got my eye on this one. Um, they're selling the Shell. It's a 97 Civic EX Coupe. So you guys heard me talk about it a couple times. Um, saying that I wanted to, you know, build a project car and I want to go K in it. You know what I mean? Like, my boy Delaney has a Civic EK and his shit is k and that shit is fire. And I kind of want to go for the same kind of look and setup. But um, I'm really, really debating on if I want to do this or not or if I should just kind of like buy like a Civic that's already swapped. But I feel like it, that will take the fun away from it if I was to just go and get one that was already done like maybe an eighth gen or something like that but i think building something from scratch one i would just need a spot where i could store it obviously i mean i could put it in my garage but i don't see myself staying at the location that i'm at right now for a very you know for another year or so and it's gonna take me a little while to build this but um it's definitely clean like the paint everything looks clean um obviously there's no motor or anything in there it's just a uh, beer shell so it does have like the EG subframe, it does come with coilovers. So like he was explaining to me some of the stuff that I would need to get to like make this car, you know, be full K, obviously. Um, it's going to take some time, like I said, but if you guys are somewhat interested in this, you know what I mean, you want to see me do it, or if you even want to get it for yourself, you can hit them up. But I'm going to need you guys to get this video to like a thousand likes. I feel like we can do it, I've done it before. Um, if we, if I could get that kind of interest in this car, I have no problems getting it. But I don't want to get something and you guys aren't interested in it because then I feel like that was just a waste of my time and your time and my money. So you guys let me know. I mean, it's black already. Like I said, it's a Civic EX 97. So I would need to get like front seats, um, obviously transmission, motor, wire harness, axles and stuff like that. Obviously some new wheels. The tires on this the steelies are pretty good though. <laughs> Hell I mean shit. Slam it on some steelies for a little while, like back in the day. But um it's definitely looking like a contender for me. So you guys let me know. If you hear anything in the back, that's like I said, he's back there doing a detail on a car right now. But um now you're good. But um yeah, so you guys let me know what you think. Should I cop it? You are y'all already know the stimulus checks is about to hit. I didn't get mine yet. Stimmy, stimmy. I ain't get stim my stimulus check yet or my income tax back yet. But you already know everybody's out here buying purchases and getting things that they don't really need. <laughs> <laughs> but um I think this would be a dope bill for the channel. That way I could have Honda content, BMW content, and start building from there. Because I'm not going to go too crazy on the BMW because, like, I don't know. I just kind of want my M3 to stay very, very clean and unique in its own way. But um, I do want to get a car that I can, like, really go full force with and not have to feel rushed to do it. I could take my time. So, you know, obviously, like, if I get this, I'm painting this bitch blue. No problems. And I kind of want to do, like, a budget series, like a budget build, you know, like, not getting the most expensive things, but not also cheaping out either. So, you know, I think that'll be a dope learning experience for me and for you guys. So that's what I'm thinking. Like I said, they also have this one down here. The one on the bottom was already k though, right? Yeah, the one on the bottom was k Yeah, it was k before, so, you know, kind of has everything. But like I said, you guys let me know in the comments down below. That's probably pretty much going to sum it up for today's video. Um, like I said, if you guys think this would be a dope build, don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment down for your boy, and don't forget to subscribe because we're on the way to 40,000 subscribers.